Okay guys, so this one I wanted to demonstrate to you to show you the options you have when you want to go dairy free. We're going to be using nutritional yeast to create a lovely cheesy flavour for our mushroom burgers. So we've got two flat mushrooms which are going to marinate. So again, you want to make sure those stems are out because they're just not very nice to eat. Now in the bowl we're going to add our tamari. Now you can measure this out. Again, I'm just going to go a little bit by eye. So maybe about a teaspoon in each bowl. Then we're also going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar for some acidity. Again, maybe about a teaspoon, maybe a bit more, just depending on what kind of um, flavour you like. And then we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Now we're going to coat the mushrooms and the marinade and we're just going to leave this to sit for about 15 minutes while we work on making our cheesy layer and cutting up our ingredients for the burger. So now we're going to work on the cheesy layer. So we're going to grab our blender jug. We're going to put in some cashews. So depending on how much cheese you want to make, because this is such a versatile filling, you can use it for anything in pasta sauces uh, and, and through salads as well. So you could use about a quarter of a cup to half a cup, even a cup of cashews. We're going to add a splash of lemon juice, some garlic powder, humid day here in Sydney, everything's sticking to the bowl already. And then we're going to add in our pinch of salt and our olive oil. Nothing too crazy there, the cashews are going to add a lot of fat to this. And also of course our nutritional yeast. Now you can, it, the recipe says a tablespoon but I'm going to go to town because I absolutely love, love, love the cheesiness of this so I'm going to put in about two to four tablespoons. Totally up to you how much you want to add in there. And last but not least, just to add a little bit of extra something, I'm going to add some basil leaf. And the last thing I want to add in here is some water to blend. So probably just enough to cover the cashews. You'll see they should thicken up a little bit once we blend it. just check this. If it's too runny we can always just add more cashews, it's going to thicken it up quite nicely. So this is quite a runny sauce right now, this would make a nice yum dressing but I'm going to add more cashews so that we can get a thicker sauce. Okay I did something sneaky here, I went to town on the yeast and the salt at the same time I added extra cashews in. So as I said really for me Raw vegan food and plant-based food isn't about following quantities to the T, it's about taste and about the flavour balancing so and also texture, right? So if you feel like it's not where it should be, just add more of everything in and if you want to really push that cheesy flavour then definitely go to town on the nutritional yeast. It is amazing, it's full of B vitamins and it's deactivated yeast so if you have any issues like candida you won't be affected by it. Okay, let's blend this. Yum. Okay. Now, you can see here this colour is beautiful. It's kind of resembling that creamy yellowy cheese. It's, it's quite thick like a sauce. So this is going to be pretty good. I'm just going to do a little taste test to be sure. Oh my god, so good. So we're going to take our mushrooms out of the marinade now and put them on a plate that you're going to be plating up with. Keep the marinade that's left over because we have some beautiful zucchini strips that we can toss in this leftover marinade to put on our burger as well for a topping. Yum. Okay, so now we want to plate up. I've also got some avocado in here which we can use as a bit of a base. I just love the contrast of the colours as well with the green. Now 
Now we have a beautiful cheesy sauce which we can put on the bottom layer. Now really up to you how you want to plate this up. I'm thinking um, some zucchini strips on the bottom. That have been done in the marinade. And then we have some beautiful cucumber sliced up. And some mixed leaf. want to create a little bit of height for interest and I'm going to add in some red onion. Not too much, just enough to give it a bit of a bite. And now we're just going to top it off with some grated carrot. Remember this is your recipe so you can honestly garnish and pop any kind of veggie on there that you love, you know, some sliced beetroot would be amazing here, sliced tomato, corn, some yellow capsicum, anything that's going to give it a bit of colour pop will be amazing for this. Okay, so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of the marinade around uh, the dish now and also it's kind of nice to put it on the dish as well if you want a little bit of extra flavour, it's really beautiful. A little bit of salt and pepper on top and you're good to go. That is a healthy version of a burger. Yum.